Greetings and salutations, friends. I am the Average Gamer, and this is Roguelite. This is a new one. It just got um, recommended to me, and it's a cute little rogue game that uses a light mechanic. Go figure. <laughs> it's available on Game Jolt right now, and you can actually download it with the soundtrack. Uh, so links in the description if you want to check it out, and I'll show you everything that you can do, because obviously we can jump around. It's a rogue game. We collect these pennies. And we have an arrow with, or a bow with flaming arrows that can be used to light lanterns and shoot things. I like to use it as a little torch, though over time, the light in your arrow will disappear. And we only have so many arrows, which you can see in the bottom right, and our health is in the bottom left. And the money, it's a lot like Rogue Legacy. Uh, when you use the money, when you die, that money landed in spikes, I can't get that money. <sighs> when you die, you can buy things to upgrade your character to make your next playthrough easier. Which is why the lanterns and the enemies are dropping two coins right now. Right, it's a cute little game, I kind of wanted to show it off. And I'm having a lot of fun. Ah! Okay, we're good. We're good? We're good. Shoot you. Give me your money. Shoot you, give me your money. I love it. Okay, we're doing quite well. Um, I don't know what the advantage is yet to going down to lower levels. Because from what I've seen, it, it appears to all be the same. It may just be that, like, you know, it's bragging rights of however low you got. Like Limbo. But not not the game Limbo. Like, like the actual game Limbo, not the video game. Huh! I know I can make that jump. I know I can make that jump. Come on. Come on. Oh, damn. Okay, maybe I can't make that jump. How annoying. Oh. Arrows. A road. But yeah, it's... Oh, man. And then when you get to the next level, you fall down and it scares the crap out of you. Because it's meant to. Oh. Awesome. I love little indie games like this. I know the rogue style game is really popular still. And it's, it's kind of becoming a thing. But um, this is really inventive. Like, it's a lot of fun. It's got good gameplay mechanics. Ow! It's a little annoying that you can't see spikes and that kind of thing. But I, I get it. It's a cool mechanic to use your lights. But if you run out of arrows and there's no lights around, I find you get kind of clobbered is the best term. Because you can't see anything. Holy... Wow, this is the most money I think I've made so far. 40 bucks. I need more money. More money, more money, more money. Level 3. Ow, don't hit me, bro. Don't do it, dude. Not even cool, you know? Oh, okay. Aw. Uh. There's a lot to... Shoot and do ow ow ah, I'm dead. <sighs> That's my cat. See my kitty in the background? Yep, he's a nice guy. Okay, so these are all the things you can buy. I've bought the first tier and some of the second tier already, just trying it out before we started recording. Um let's see what we can get. I think I have that. I have that. I could get another coin for lanterns. So this one upgrades all the coins that we get. I don't know why... Plus 10 starting coins. That one's huge. I don't know why you do anything else. Because the more coins you get, the better you are in the game. And I mean, it's nice to have more arrows and more health and all that to get lower down. But if we're making more money, then we're going to be able to get all those other upgrades a lot sooner. Oh! I shot two things and I have six bucks. That's crazy. I love it. Yep, more. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. More arrows, more arrows. Shoot the guy. That was a skull. Crazy. I don't think skulls count as lanterns. But that dude, though, awesome. Oh, this is one of those awesome little games that just comes around. I could see this one doing well. You pop this on Steam for like two bucks, even on iOS and Android devices, and uh, you could you could 
easily get some good sales out of this. I love the design. It's definitely got a retro by choice kind of feel. Oh god, almost died. I am almost dead. And there's nothing over here. Almost died for no reason. Oh, for one dollar. Ha ha, that was awesome. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. And I'll take those. And we'll jump over here. And nothing's around. Nope, nothing. Well, I guess we gotta go down. Guess we're gonna go down. I keep thinking that those are spikes, but they're not. Can't go down. Got some arrows. That's pretty cool. That's my monotone song. We're still in level one? Huh. We can't find level two. So, it's like, see my arrows there. The fire is completely gone out of them. Because it only lasts for a certain amount of time, but I can still shoot it. And it'll still hit things like it normally would. It just doesn't give me the light. And I do need my light. Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Ow! That was dumb of me. Don't do it, sir. Mm bah. Oops. Mm bah. Okay. You? Nope. You? Yep. Then you. Yes. Then all the arrows. I love it. Oh, God. Oh, that wasn't so bad. This is adorable and addictive. I've been playing this for probably about an hour already. And I can't stop. It's it's something about those roguelike games that's like whenever you die, if they do them correctly and they make you want to play the game, then as soon as you die, you're like, oh, awesome. Okay, let's hit start again. And then while you're playing it, you're like, mm, I should get some stuff done today or I should go to bed because it's four in the effing morning. But you can't, because your friend is playing this game, and you're watching him. <laughs> and the person that I'm making reference to is probably not going to watch this video. Uh, okay, one hit point left. Two arrows left. This is not a good place to be, for to me. Let's get as much money as we can. Oh, and we are getting lots of money. Oh, God. Should have gone for him. I wanted more money. I was hoping that the arrow would have come back and oh well. What can we buy now? Sixty-one dollars. Jump height? Damage from spikes. Chance of two arrows. Hmm. Arrow brightness. Oh, I was I wonder if money carries over. Probably not. It's probably like rogue legacy, so we're gonna not worry about it. Arrow brightness, that's cool. Or should I get more arrows? Can I get both? Yeah. Yes, I can. And I have nine dollars left. Okay, so we have nine bucks. Let's see if we start with nine bucks. Though I, I, I severely doubt it. Yeah, it says zero there. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Whoop. Ow. That's a great start. Three arrows gone, two health gone. Wow. Oh, there's arrows up there. There's arrows up there. Hoya! Uh-oh. Make it! <sighs> Make it up! Thank you. Thank you for doing what I asked. Hi, everyone. My name is Cry. <laughs> uh, uh. Awesome. It's fun when you get the hang of this game. And you get the hang of it easier and easier as you go. Oh, there's spikes there. There's spikes there! I missed them. Ha ha ha. Next level. I don't know why. Boop. <gasps> spikes. And spikes do like damage over time and it's brutal and I just shot two arrows. And I have no idea why. So that's unfortunate. Yeah, money there too. Mo money, money, money. The unfortunate thing, which I'm about to show here, is that because of the way the game is set, you need to continually 
do better. Socks belt gloves. Oh, interesting. Because if you're not continually doing better, like right now, we need to get at least 21 coins or else we can't get anything. We have 26, so we're going to get the plus one health. But like next game, we need to still get at least 21 coins. If we get under that, then we can't buy anything. Which is where the difficulty curve comes in. Because you start off, you're like, this is great, I'm going to buy all the things. And then you realize that if you don't ugh, have a better game than the last time, then you've got no chance of getting anything. <laughs> I love the minimalistic music, too. It does it really well. It feels like you're in a dungeon. There are three songs in the soundtrack, again, available for download at Game Jolt. Link in the description. Whoa! Um, and they're really cool. As well, it has the developer and the, oh man, the DJ that made the music and the opening screen, but I can't remember their name for the life of me right now, so. To you guys, both, thank you so much for making the game, because it's awesome, and I love it. And then we should see about getting them on Average Giants. Wow. Hmm. On Arrow. Ow! Get the health after we kill him. Oh, get the health after we fall in spikes. Is this a new level? No. That is, though. That is, though. Bong. Bong. So much fun lighting things up. Bong. Money, 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 money. So you have 30 bucks, so we know we can at least buy something. I shot it again. Huh. Aha, ha, ha, ha. ha. Huh? What did I get? Health. Awesome. Okay, $37. Nice. Ow! Now, I don't know, because, like I said, I haven't been through the game yet. But it would be cool if there were boss type creatures and that kind of thing if you got down far enough. Like Crystal Catacomb style or Baroque Legacy again. I'd love to see that. That'd be really cool. That being said, it's also a free game on Game Jolt. That's awesome and super fun. So, you know, as you will. As you will. Ow. Spikes. Ho ho. Didn't even have to move. Hmm. Ah! Level three. Can't get that one. Can't get those ones though. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Bonk. 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 Hmm. Okay. Man, there's a lot of stuff to shoot in this one. 75 bucks. Awesome. We can get more money now. Nope. Yum, 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 yum. I want to shoot you, but I don't oh, I want that to happen. Oh, well, at least I got one. <laughs> Knew it was going to happen, too. Oh, new level. Level four. This is my last arrow. Unless I can get up there. Yay. Get up there and then shoot that lantern. There we go. Son of a... Oh, there's a health. So that's convenient. Oh, I'm out of arrows. So we literally have to run around blindly... Until we find arrows. It's like losing all your power of Five Nights at Freddy. You just gotta walk around and hope for the best. But the best doesn't do very well sometimes. Da 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 da. What can we buy? Oh, we can buy a lot. Plus 10 starting coins. Plus one from Lantern. Oh, we had $88. Woo! Diamond Quiver. Golden quiver. More arrow brightness. I think we're going to go with more money. Starting coins. Plus 10 starting coins. That takes some of the pressure off. 
which is which will be really important with this. I already have ten bucks, so we have to get like twenty bucks, and then we can already buy something. Whereas we were, or sorry, ten bucks, and then we can buy something. Whereas we were worrying about how much we had to make before. Now it's just a smidgen easier. So thanks, game. But th no thanks for dropping me down like that. That was mean. There's my coins. Where's my coins at? Hmm. Ow. Ow. That was unfair. But not really. Huh? It's brutal because you can barely see in front of you. Hmm. Did I get them all? Ah, oh, there. There we go. There we go. No probs. Ow. No! That was silly of me. Snap. Okay, let's see what we can buy. Uh, jump height. That's cool. Or a 10% chance of two arrows. Jump height it is. Thank you. Okay. But that uh, is going to do it for me. This has been Roguelite, and I am the Epic Gamer. So until next time, guys, much love. Much love. And we'll see you all later.